minimizing charisma, maximizing intelligence, shooting someone in the crotch with a cannonball, rust, propulsion, it's science-y. <laughs> Why you always gotta be blowing my spot up like that? There are my runes. There they are. I'm not mad. Science needs art and art needs science. They both need each other to function properly. There are ways to figure out what the paper is really saying. And then I'm ready to get on Twitter and yell at people about doing their own research on the- oh! Oh, oh, hold on there, sports fan. Kyle Hill, everybody, is the next generation of science communicator. I'm gonna be too old at a certain point to do those terrible things to my body and it'll be up to you. He's got like a lion. This guy's amazing. <laughs> Kyle Hill. I'm Boo Rambo. The universe is indifferent to you. Whether or not you have amazing hair, the universe doesn't care. How are trees pushing past this pressure limit? Ah! Behold, my balls. Ah! Now we're getting somewhere, but I still don't think it's worthy of G.R.R. Martin's suspender. I'm totally right, right? Close up photos of my my frickin' hair? Is that what you all want? No, you don't, weirdos. Kyle Hill. Is your last name actually Hemsworth? What's going on? Our, our resident Thor lookalike. I prefer uh, Black Friday Chris Hemsworth. Oh, thank you. Hey, you know, if you need a haircut. No, of course not. We're not gonna send sharks with frickin' laser beams on their heads to an asteroid. We're gonna nuke it. You don't need Bruce Willis at all. <laughs> Wrenched. Oh! oh! Headshot! Oh. Kevin, turn on the monitor. Kevin, this transition better work. The blast doors can't. Kevin, turn it on. Ke Kevin, hey, Kevin, call his agent and have them call my agent. Kyle Hill. Happy birthday. Feliz Navidad. I'm just a biologist. I don't know how this works. This is how you do science. Can I just grab it? Oh. Laws, corollaries. <laughs> <laughs> I know that global catastrophe isn't the most fun thing to think about all day unless you're me, so... Are we gonna do some science, bro? <laughs> Lasers don't have that much momentum. That's not how a clockwise works. <laughs> don't worry, you can do this even if you are not an AI. It links the boundary layer around a person to a And I guess it matters what kind of dragon it's we're talking to realize here is that the bigger the thing does... If this kite is completely inaccurate, I'm gonna kill this guy and tell him to his face. What do you mean? What do you mean the stream health is poor? Why? Why is it doing that? Well, Kevin, turn down the metal. Chat, welcome. Chat, welcome to a scientist plays Doom. Our first, Shosh. I know, I'm talking to Chat. Welcome to our first scientist plays session as Doom. As Doom Guy. Okay, now I got my excellent connection back. Ho oh, ho. Chad, welcome to the facility as you can see. I'm Shush. Still stream poor it's it's going back and forth between poor and good. Why is that? The mic is hot? What are you guys talking about? A little bit. The mic sounds way overblown. What's going on? Dissect and lacerate. You keep dropping? Huh. I don't know what's going on, Chad. Chad, get closer to me. My mic is super loud. Why? You think it's a new music chat? I didn't change anything. Chat, you're making me too hot. Getting overheated, chat. Mike is loud and underwater. It may have been... Okay, excellent connection again. It may have been that I was tabbed out. I may have been tabbed out from Doom itself. That may have been causing some issues. The stream broke. Sounds good now. Chad, if you're having issues, reload. Your science zaddy is here. 
Looks like we're good right now. Chat, welcome to a scientist place. Doom 2016. I'm excited to get into this one. Audio is still peaking. What are you talking about? How about that, chat? Is that better? Or underwater. You think it's the music? Billy, welcome. Sound muffled? What the heck? What? What? Oh, I might, I, I might know what the issue is here. Oh my god, we're doomed. Better? And it says I'm not receiving... Chat, I don't know what's going on. Chat, I don't know what's going on right now. Let's, um... 100% too much metal. Yeah, let's, um... Let's switch back... To our, uh... Let's switch back to our other music. So I know. Maybe something was chugging that along. Science versus religion, who would win? Oh, we'll... Oh, oh, we'll get into that. Probably not. Chad, let me just make sure everything is uh, silky smooth right now. Let's just make sure everything's silky smooth here. I didn't change nothing. All I did was change the... Um, the music. But maybe that was a mistake, Chad. Sounds like your mic is low quality. Yeah, but it's not, though. It is a connection. I, I have a connection issue. Let me, um... Hmm. Let me try something real quick, chat. I'll be... It's gonna look like the stream goes down, but just one second. Chat, how's that? Is that better? Should be better now. We good? Mic is not better? Huh. I know what it is. Chat, how's that? Chat, did I do it? Did I make it right? I believe I made it right. Did I get it? I know what it was. I know what it was. Should it sound? It should sound professional now. And speaking of professional, welcome to the facility. Damn it! Chat, welcome. Chat, welcome to the facility. Happy to have everybody here, of course. Welcome in, welcome in. Should be good now. Should be good now. Uh, welcome to Doom 2016. Yeah, the music was innocent, you're right. Let's bring it back in. Did I? Let's bring it back in, chat. Guten Tag. Good day. Chat, welcome to a scientist plays. Welcome inside of the facility. Welcome, Artistic Bunny. Welcome to everyone I'm looking at on this monitor right here. Welcome to all my regulars like V, John, Captain Dagon, who made today's thumbnail, made me all buff. Kanithieth. Hillian Prophet, of course, Dave Marine, Crystal King, Crystal King, Ashley. I see some newbies in here, like Glove Man, Chris Roberts, Frank, oh, Femke Hargzy, who's a picture of a koala that may or may not have syphilis. Chat, welcome. 
Kyle, how are you doing? Hey, thanks. Devils Never Cry, welcome. Taylor Kleiner. Serene Dusk, welcome. Thanks everyone for being here. Scientist plays Doom. Today, that's exactly what we'll be getting into. And I have some exciting, I have some exciting uh, stream incentives for you today, which should go perfectly smoothly given the stream issues already. Uh, chat, I have, uh, wait, 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 wait. Chat, what are we even doing here? Hello and welcome to the facility. I'm your host, Kyle Man. I like to explore and explain everything underneath the stars and beyond. That's my day job. But my sitting around job, I'm also a big old gamer. And so when we get into the gaming wing of the facility, what I like to do is try to combine science and gaming, the only science and gaming streams on the internet. So while we may not be playing Ultra Nightmare 100% speedruns today on Doom, we will be uh, attempting as many science times as possible. And I have some fun stream incentives for you today. Pacal, where are you going to be doing all that? You haven't even gotten into any gameplay yet, and you're, you don't even know how to stream right. Calm down. Chat, of course, here in the gaming wing of the facility, two 75-inch monitorinos. See what you're saying, what we're playing. Two 27-inch monitors, curved OLED in front of me, 4K, one for each eye, because I'm a chameleon. My video's playing on repeat behind me, because why not? PS6, that's what we're playing on today. Welcome, everybody, in the chatty chat. Yeah, this is the science percent. The stream ended? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Stop, don't say that. Just refresh. Don't say that. So chat, um, yeah, see, I, it says I have a fine connection. I'm, a, I'm at 15,000 KBS here. Chat, yes. What we're playing today is Doom. It has a couple uh, weird little issues. Um, do you have stream? I'm Steam, I'm curious. Yes, I do have Steam. That's what we'll be playing on today. Yeah, guys, stop gaslighting me. Um, but today, like I said, we are going for science times, and I have a special donation incentive for you today. If we make it, well, uh, Chet, you may not know that in addition to science times, I like to practice my accents. Today, stream incentives, similar. We got Australian, we got Cowboy in there, but also top tier donos will unlock Aria for today's stream. If we hit the top donation incentive, Aria will take over during the second half of the stream and play instead of me. So if you want to see that, get those incentives in. But for the first half, we'll be playing Doom. So, chat. Um, like I said, bring all your questions. Bring all your science times. If you want to donate Artistic Bunny, Super Chat is the way to do so. And you can always support what we do here at the facility at patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. That's how you get inside of the facility walls, inside the private Discord. But I'm yapping too, too much. It's time to play Doom 2016. I think we just, I think we just get right into it. Isn't that right, chat? Let's do it. So chat, like I said, uh, we are emphasizing science times, top right corner. Let's get that back down to zero before we're ripping it there. 
Jaron Robinson, welcome. Um, also, directly above my head, you see the new stream incentives. You can make me practice my Australian accent because I want to. Look at my look at my zaddy form that I'm evolving into. You can also stream in cowboy for no reason, but also Aria can take over the second half of the stream if you want. Surely there will be no technical difficulties there. Like I said, we are emphasizing el tiempos de ciencia. Calder Studios, Studios, welcome. So everything from BFG to, to Mars to space to... L let me hear it. That's what I want. At our current level of technology, can we make the BFG? No. I hear sound, but no gameplay. Here we go. <laughs> ah! Ah! So loud. What is the BFG supposed to do? The big effing gun, right? The big friendly gun. But it's supposed to destroy everything with like an energy pulse. The, the problem I've always had, science time, with energy pulse type weapons is that if you're keeping, you know, hot plasma inside of a ball shaped object or a sphere, how, how are you doing that? What is keeping that spherical shape? Is it magnetic fields or or what have you if it's magnetic fields and it has to be projected out of some out of something and then it has to follow that shape it, it just doesn't make much sense to me kiara murphy now facility gamer welcome yeah we'll be playing this and if you uh if you enjoy doom 2016 then let's go onwards to doom eternal as well do you think hell makes a good power source well hatred powers me and that's a pretty good power source they are rage, brutal, without mercy, but you... With our technology you now, could we make rods from God? Yes, we could. Until, until it is it's done. done. Um, how's, how's the game sound in relation to my voice right now, Chuck? Is it too loud, too soft? What is it? Yes! It's way loud. Like, how, how loud is it? How loud is it now in relation to my voice? Is it alright? Or is it too much? Too loud? Overpoweringly loud. Damon Morris with the Australian $2. Good morning, Kyle from Baby Xanda and my family, says Damon. Welcome. Game too loud. Got it! Let's bring it down. Barely here. Oh, I didn't do anything. Um, yeah, I'll drop it 25%. Um, Chet, as you were saying, rods from God. Rods from God are tungsten rods that you would drop from space, and they're just kinetic impactors. So you rely on the terminal velocity of a telephone pole-sized tungsten rod, tungsten being one of the densest elements, so it's gonna be very heavy. You, you make the size and shape such that its terminal velocity is very, very large. And so when it impacts the ground, all of that energy, kinetic energy, one, uh, one half MV squared is translated into the destruction of the environment. Now, we've had that idea for a long time, just dropping stuff from space, but it turns out bombs are more efficient, or they would be more efficient, um, they would be more efficient because it takes a lot of fuel to bring heavy stuff up into orbit. Yeah, Jack Jack Dawes perfectly sums it up right up there in that chat. The energy required to put them into space is insane. Yeah, okay. How's it now, chat? How's it in relation to my voice now? Yes. God, this game just looks so good and runs so smooth. Sounds good. We have to contain this. Still loud? You can also turn the stream down. Asteroids make good cannonballs from God, though. Yes, they do, Hasn't Pants. That is because... Is it still loud? Um, that is because, uh... You can just put a rocket on them. They're already going fast. You just change the trajectory. Canadian 2799! From Artistic Bunny, beautiful science zaddy. 
look, uh, I love your content. You're the only guy who make a man bun look good. <laughs> oh, I know. Have you seen other guys lately? Chat, have you seen other guys lately? Did I actually do it? I'm a little frazzled today. Go to 60. Chat, this is supposed to be a head banging of a game. Okay. Okay. We good? Give me this suit. Is that good? In relation to my voice? Yeah, we good, Kyle. Yes. I am he who is prophesized to rip and tear the demons. What I love about Doom, I really love about Doom, is that it's hard sci-fi. Like, it has to do with hell, but it has rules, right? There's rules to hell. There's Argent energy, there's ways things work or not, there's a physics to the world, even though it has to do with a supernatural thing. And I think the best, I, I really like when hard sci-fi does that, like um, like Constantine, for example, the Keanu Reeves movie, um, you know, or The Witcher, you know, there's rules to how the supernatural works. I like that a lot. Similarly here. Hell is just another place in the universe as captain. I've always heard that hell is other people. You cannot determine the cause of the demonic invasion until the Rezop satellite is brought back on. Why is every AI a hot woman speaking? Because it's disarming, chat. Welcome. I'm Dr. This guy, goaded voice, by the way. Samuel Hayden, I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. <laughs> I love how Doom Guy is just like, shut up, I'm here to do a job. It's a little dark on my monitor. It's like, Shh, I am here. I am here for one thing. And you're not helping me with that thing. Is that what that is? No. I know. Eh, screw it. Can we get the science on Samuel Hayden? When we get to him. Rah! 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 It is Gamma? Oh. Rah! Rah! Get out of my face. Hell... Uh, I mean, Doom is just, it's just a power fantasy. That's why it's so fun. There we go. That's better. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Do you prefer, do you prefer Doom or Doom Eternal? I like the control scheme in Doom Eternal better, but I think they're, they're both great. I have to remember what buttons are buttons. Is that Gladys? Are Portal and Doom in the same universe yet? What? Switch switch weapons? Yeah. Shotgun shells. Was this your first gaming console? Uh, was your first gaming console or was it PC? Um, I've played everything on console my whole life. I've only played on PC since I started streaming with you, uh, you nerds. Yes. Come here. See that jump? Oh, that was, that was preternatural, that, the awareness. The, the, the raw awareness, chat. You should do AC Valhalla. I have like, like 150 hours in AC Valhalla. I love that game. 
Oh, I forgot all the buttons. Athos Kronos, one of our most generous patrons of the facility. You're not getting notifications that I'm going live. I mean, I try to put it everywhere. I try to put all this stuff. I try to put it on all the socials and stuff, so. I'm sorry, Athos, but happy to have you here. First time playing Doom? No. But I've been wanting to play, try to do some Doom signs for you guys for a long time. We're already up to five. Let's see if we can do more. We are on Mars, and once we get out on the surface of Mars, um, we shall talk about the red planet, Doom Zaddy. I know, look, look, look Arya, I've been growing my side of my beard out because Arya likes the white. Look at that. Look at all that zaddiness going on. My jawline is here, Chet. And look at that. Ridiculous. He cannot be allowed to leave this place. Hey, uh, Chompy, if you're watching, look, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Lauren. It's everything. <laughs> Click that bell, my dude, then you will be notified. See if we can get to 666 to science times. For the events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out Don't of care. Yes. But it was worth the risk. I don't care. Oh, it's, this game gets me torched, shit. Turn it up on my headphones. Kevin, turn it up on my headphones. God, that is so, oh man. Someone get me a towel. Oh man, and that perfectly, oh. Okay, chat, so no, we're now on the surface of Mars. What do you need to know about the surface of Mars, chat? Why is Mars problematic as a place to live? Well, look around. Like, look, this is where Elon Musk wants you to live. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you do that? Um, don't care. Why would you, why would you want to live in a place like this? Um, but there's many problems with Mars. One of the problems being that it basically has no atmosphere. Um, basically has no atmosphere, um, and its atmosphere has been blown away over time by the sol by solar winds streaming in to the Martian atmosphere at a million miles per hour. Um, it also has much lower gravity. I think only 40%, 38% of the gravity of Earth, meaning that over time, loss of muscle mass, osteoporosis, um, that kind of thing. Uh, be and, and the atmosphere is wiped away by the solar wind because it doesn't have the magnetosphere that Earth has. Its core is more or less dead, so it doesn't have this uh, sphere of magnetism deflecting some of these charged particles that come screaming in from the sun. And so you have, and, and with no magnetosphere and no atmosphere, you get much more intense cosmic radiation coming down from the sun and from space and from other cosmic events. This would irradiate you probably to a dangerous degree. I'd have to do the math on how long you could stay on the surface of the planet. So you have no at very little atmosphere, wispy atmosphere. You have high levels of radiation. It's extremely cold. And those are all problems. And so when you see some harder sci-fi some harder sci-fi um, series like The Expanse try to try to explain uh, living in the Martian environment, they go underground where you can be, you can have some temperature control, where you can be protected from cosmic radiation. Let's see if they say that. Here we go. Let's see how sciencey this is. Chat, a science, a, a scientist evaluates doom. Despite the discovery of liquid water in the earliest, early 21st century, the colonization of Mars had little appeal beyond exploration. Um, with a trans-dimensional stream of unrefined plasma, settling and mining Mars became both practical and essential to meet energy demands. Um, terraforming. Terraforming. <laughs> 
Okay, so it made sense to brave the harsh Martian at the harsh marsh to get those energy needs. Could you play in the dirt? Isn't the dust toxic? I don't know. Hey Kyle, long time listener, first time live. How are you doing? Thanks for thanks for learning me and my kids all good, says Christopher Beaton. Well say hello to your children for me. Say that you're my favorite dad. And I'm not lying. Get out of my face. I'm trying to teach people. I forgot all the buttons. Can you restart the Martian core with big magnetics? Well, the core of Mars, I don't I don't know the specifics about the core of Mars, even though I'm a science zaddy, as I said. Um, I don't know what the compositional core is of Mars. You know, the, the core of Earth, science time, is molten metal and some other things. And the rotation of this molten metal creates a dynamo. And this dynamo creates an electromagnetic field, a magnetic field. That's what creates our magnetosphere. I'm trying to learn. That's what keeps us safe from the solar wind, which would tear away our atmosphere, much like Mars's was. -es. Oh, right in the right in the Achilles. I need some better weapons. Boop. 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 Would it be easier to colonize Mars or make a halo? Um, science time. Making a halo is difficult because you, it would be very cost inefficient to bring all of that material up. For, well, to bring all of the halo material up from Earth and uh, first, right? It costs, any amount of mass costs a lot of fuel. So it starts to make more sense to make halo-like objects in the universe when you already have orbiting outposts or space outposts like the International Space Station or where you can park uh, materials. You can park materials in like a, uh, what are they called? I'm, I'm having a brain fart. Um, The points, the Lagrange points. You could park a lot of material in the Grange points so they don't go anywhere. Um, and then you could start building halos in space and it doesn't have the same gravity requirements or atmospheric requirements. And so you can make these mega structures without having them be subject to the gravity of Earth and, and other things. But yeah, yeah, so yeah, exa exactly, so Lego. So you'd wanna build those mega structures probably out of stuff that's already in space, like asteroids. As, we, um, as we've gone through on the channel before, uh, there's effectively an infinite amount of materials just inside of our solar system. More iron than we'll ever need, more diamonds than we're ever going to make people suffer and slave away in mines for. Radiation question. I see the small tritium rides that they use basically as glow sticks. Are they safe to keep in your pocket? Yes, I have one. I have one of those tritium. Who's behind me? I have one of those tritium glow sticks uh, outside of the facility right now. And they do work and they'll stay glowy for about 10 years or so. Um, but because the radiation, I'll answer this non-technically, the kind of radiation that tritium outputs is blocked by very thin material. And so by having a tiny amount of radium, uh, tritium gas, not radium, <laughs> that'd be bad. Having a tiny amount of tritium gas inside a small glass keychain, inside of two overlapping glass tubes, the radiation, even though it's already small, can't get out of those glass tubes. Uh, C bar, um, check out. I think I ta I think I tagged them. If not, remind me. But I actually reached out to the company that makes that made my tritium uh, keychain, and I want to partner with them. Then we can sell them, and you'll know it's from me. Um, what do I want? Yeah, give me those. Give me oh, it has a coating that fluoresces from the radiation, right? Yes. What kind of radiation is it? I think it's, it's alpha. I don't know. 
No, I should know this. I don't know it off the top of my head, chat. Chat, what radiation does tritium gas put out? It would make sense if it's alpha, because that doesn't make it through basically anything. Alpha doesn't make it through a sheet of paper. As you know, of course, alpha, beta, gamma radiation named in that order because that denote, well, I think they were discovered in that order for, for one. And for two, it also indicates their penetrative qualities. So alpha penetrates very little. It can be blocked by your skin or a sheet of paper. Uh, then comes beta, which is 10 times more penetrative than that. And then, uh, which is basically a stream of electrons. Where am I going? And um, then from there, you have gamma radiation, which is 100 times more penetrative. So an order of magnitude, uh, three orders of magnitude. Tritium is beta? Okay, that's fine. Still finds you. Jaden Booth pointing out that uh, pointing out that Mars dust isn't quite as bad as lunar regolith because Mars has wind erosion, so that rounds out the grains. That's a good point, uh, Jaden. So on on the surface of the moon with almost, well, with no wind, no atmosphere, the grains of the dirt are still spiky. They don't get rounded out by erosion like sand does on beaches. And so why do those astronauts' uh, footprints stay there for so dang long? Well, it's because when it's compressed, the friction between the particles, instead of between spheres, they're between like sharp, pointy little blocks and that's why those impressions stay so much, so crisp on the moon. Yeah, it's like blade sand, yeah. Um, and Jaden saying that Mars doesn't have the same problem. Yeah, blade sand. Okay, which one is this? Is this? Yeah, that's what I want. That sounds probably fun. Did he deflect that? What what happened there? Come here. Don't walk on the moon barefoot. Yeah, don't yeah, don't probably don't walk on the moon. It seems pretty dangerous. Like if you're not an astronaut. It's a simple question, Doctor. Would you eat the moon if it was made out of spare ribs? <laughs> if you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? I know I would. Oh, okay. Koopa, welcome. I haven't seen you in here for a while. Hope you have a great night. Rated relentless. I'm quite relentless. Of course, you know that I'm very relentless. I do not relent, Guillermo. You know I do not relent, Guillermo. Oh, come on. Do I have the double jump yet? No, I guess I don't. I'm super basic. Yeah, Chet, if you haven't seen professional, like, go watch an ultra nightmare 100% run of this game. It is unbelievable the movement that people can do. I mean, they are playing on piece, uh, mouse and keyboard. I'm playing on, uh, I'm playing on controller right now, so it's different. But. Surprise Nando, yes. They call me relentless because I'm never relenting, Guillermo. Where am I going? Dragon sheep with the 20. Since it's cold and dry, wouldn't an artificial intelligence have more interest in colonizing Mars? Um, only if that's a huge concern for the artificial intelligence, right? I mean, if, if it was able to position itself somewhere on Earth where... I mean, what if it positioned itself deep underground in a salt mine? I mean, that would have been fun. We need to have a goal to have Kyle speak like Nando for the whole stream. Now, I don't know about that. 
I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that shit. You want a Nandor incentive? How is my Nandor? It's alright, huh? It's alright, Chad. Oh! My body! I'm flying to space! Hmm. My movement's pretty crispy in this game, Chad. It's not so bad. Except when I get stuck on stuff. My movement's pretty crispy here. It's all right. Not so bad. Colin Robinson, yes. If radiation can kill humans, can it kill space demons too? I mean, I don't see why not. Depends on their biology. Like we go through in almost every stream, um, if they were more radio resistant, than humans, then maybe not. But who knows? I don't know how they grew up. Mars looks like Dorito dust. It's cause all the iron in there. Why do you play on controller instead of mouse and keyboard? Yeah, cause I've played on controller my entire life. Much better at it. Do space demons have DNA? Again, depends on how they, how they um, evolved. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good bet that anything that goes through a process of natural selection has something like DNA because it's a replicating, self-replicating molecule. And that's so, something upon which natural selection or different environmental pressures can act, you know? We all know Mars is just a cheese poof. It's just one of those well, cheese poofs. I like these very much. I, I like these cheese poofs very much. I do not have any friends here. And here in New York City. This little creepy paper, you see it all over here. Do you play with motion controls? No, that's gonna be, no. No thanks. Little cheese dust. Halfway to speaking in Australian. Wow. Lucky you. <laughs> now, excuse me, sir. <laughs> I don't recall. Hello, Wait, what? <laughs> Who was it? Who did he think was? I don't remember Frank Sinatra being Chinese. Uh, ring a ding ding. My <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the, the first suit, male AI it voice, that I can activate optional challenges that, when completed, will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component. To Chat for OCA. our day job, we science. For our night job, we game. But for our side side hustle, we also do a lot of accents. This is what your parents had to go through. Oh. Damon Morse with the Australian Five. This is what your parents had to go through to get to school, and it was up uphill both ways. Consider that. Is there such a thing as radiation cheese? I mean, you could make radioactive cheese pretty easily, yes. Just a nice dusting of cesium-137 on your cheese. Oh. I'm just here to, to tear. Headshot. Does fire run out easy in a Martian atmosphere? Says big boy, man. Yes. There's Mars, do Mars does have a small atmosphere. There's just almost, I think it's mostly carbon dioxide. Where are the bad guys? I think it's mostly carbon dioxide. Get out of my face. Chompy, doesn't that doesn't that look like Lauren? Now, in what will be your final moments in this world? <laughs> All the 
Yeah, there's no oxygen in the Martian atmosphere. Got it. You would still, Chad, you would still be able to fire weapons on the surface of Mars as, as lo Olivia, as long as there's still some oxidizer in the ballistics that you are using. Doesn't Mars have the largest volcano? No, it has the largest mountain. Olympus Mons! Uh. 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 Yeah, science. So, so chat, the basic, uh, the basic lore of the game here is we went to Mars to mine hell energy, and then things went wrong with that. Um, Olivia Pierce, the main protagonist or antagonist of this game, kind of went crazy, wanted to side with the hell people, uh, and I'm, I was revived from a tomb to stop hell. Pretty awesome. Please don't damage my cheese. Guys, why are you talking about cheese so much? What the hell are you talking about? Get me in there. Get me in there. Demons are no match for me. I'm the only thing they fear, Chet. Mars cheese. Chet, what are you talking about? The movement in this game is so fun. It's so fast, so twitchy. Man, if you get Arya to play this, you will see uh, how twitchy it is. Ch Chet, what the hell are you talking about? Chet, first of all, shut up about cheese. Second of all, what are you talking about with regards to cheese? I guess I'm going this way. Oh, wait. I went through. Probably right there. I remember getting confused in this section. Jason, welcome, buddy. We talk about cheese because we're cultured. Jason, get get out. Get the hell out of here. My sisters and brothers be thankful. Oh. Moomba, now facility gamer, welcome. Lockdown, in effect. I don't practice Arya's lines. Why is Kyle so sexy? Thank you. Get it back on track. Get this chat back on track. Let's talk about that. Chat, the question is, do I even make these sounds when I'm not live? And the answer is yes, of course I do. Ow! This gun sucks. Chad, if you don't stop talking about cheese, I'm gonna end the stream. Go up. If you're gonna eat one of those toasty demons with cheese, what part would it? I'm gonna ignore you. I'm just gonna ignore you, Chad. We're at 16 science times. It's not bad, eh? It's not bad, champ. It's pretty good. In fact, let me in there. Oh, that is destructible. That's fine. Are you willing to try Warhammer 4K? I'm not really a tabletop man. I mean, I play Magic the Gathering. That's about it. But I'm heavy invested into Magic. Let me in. Here we harvest only the best of the best. Are you ready to move on? 
to take on new challenges, to become more than you ever dreamed you could be, talk to your supervisor to save you. I keep pressing, uh, I keep thinking R1 is grenade from like other games. Have you played this game before? Yes. Yes, of course. One of my favorites. One of my favorite S FPS games, easy. Man, where'd you go? Where'd you go, demon? Throw some cheddar on the Bobby, mate. No. Chat, get it together. I don't think we should colonize Mars in the first place so that we don't actually accidentally spawn demons. Don't worry, demons don't exist. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry, demons don't exist. Chainsaw time. How would you have that before I could get the chainsaw? Interesting. Chat, do you mind shutting up about the cheese thing? Chat. Chat, you're unhinged. Chad, you're unhinged. Much like my jaw when I eat a lot of cheese. Yes, I know, Chad, you're very funny. You're super duper funny, Chad. Where am I going? Oh, probably down there. Where's my chainsaw? Give me my chainsaw. Does Doom or Mass Effect for portray Mars better? I do, I very much like the, um, I very much like the uh, Mass Effect Mars in Mass Effect 3. That game, that, that's cool. Yes, we need to recut it out. Oh my god. You guys are going to hell. For sure. And I'm gonna make sure you get Match! I want my plasma rifle. There's a guy at work who says he saw an exorcism in person when he was a kid. I don't know how to respond to him. Um, he probably saw someone very deluded or very mentally unwell uh, go through a somewhat forced ritual that was, and, and their mannerisms and what they did, maybe even things they, that they said were heavily influenced by the culture that they were raised in, by the person performing the exorcism. And uh, it doesn't, I mean, if you think about it, it does make a lot of sense. I mean, if you take someone very mentally unwell or delusional or, or any combination of the two, it does make sense that if you if that person was raised in a certain culture and a certain religion that had a certain person leading the exorcism other than any other kind of person or religion that it could be, it does make sense that they would say religiously motivated things or act in a certain way because whether or not they know it, they've heard about exorcisms, they've seen them maybe depicted on in movies or they, they know of the movie the exorcism or the exorcist and so they know how they i'm not saying they're lying i'm saying that things that they do and things that they say could be heavily culturally influenced right and so it's not that it's much more of a stretch of the imagination to say that demons exist rather than humans are culturally influenced and might have mental health issues right one of them seems much more likely doesn't it This is actually, <laughs> Chad, this is actually easier to, to science at the same time, because like when we were playing Fallout, I had to focus on like picking stuff up and reading things. But right now my mind is just kind of going blank and I'm just shooting stuff. Lilith, you'll, you'll never be delusional for who you love. Unless that person is Angelina Jolie. She's never going to love you. Whew. Yeah, I'm kind of just turning off my brain. Sciencing it up. I love how you're calmly explaining complex topics with strong logical basis while in the most intense combat arena portions of the game. Well, <laughs> that's just... That's just what happens when you're a capital G game, er, boy. Jared, welcome back. Lewis, welcome back. 
No thoughts, only science and violence. Jet. You accidentally pushed that button. Let me back up, please. I don't know if demons are real or not. I can say that I haven't experienced a possession, though. Uh, demons are probably not real. I'm 99% convinced. <laughs> well, how would they work? When did they start? What rules do they have? Is there anything that's a better explanation? What are we doing? Yes. Sir, get that. Why are we alive? What is consciousness? We don't know. Um, we, so the, the, we haven't solved the hard problem of consciousness, what it takes to create it and why we are conscious rather than not. Um, but we start, um, you, you can start kind of, when you, when you ask whether or not something else is conscious or not, you have to reduce it to things that you can observe and you can test, like, how could you test for consciousness? Well, we start with different tests of, you know, nociception. Can things feel pain? And then there's there's different experiments for, can they recognize themselves? Like, you know, putting a dot on a chimpanzee's forehead and see if they realize that they have a dot on their forehead because they think it is them and not just another chimpanzee. But then generally speaking, you can kind of broaden it out to, well, if we, have a feeling of what it's like to be us, we're conscious. There, there seems to be a correlation in all of those things I just mentioned with brain size, just like the number of neurons. And so it does make sense, at least right now, to think that the number of neurons in your brain has something to do with your level of sentience, where I'd be pretty confident in saying something like, a fruit fly probably doesn't have hopes and dreams. You know, where you only have a couple hundred cells in their brain. Raw dogging Bigfoot, welcome to the. Oh, God. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> oh, man. Why do you do what you do? How do I change the mod on my weapon? Beep, boop, pop. Just like this. Beep, pop, beep, boop. No, I don't. I just want to change the, oh, swatch, swap, uh, swap, switch, select, activate. No, 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 switch, sw activate. Bam. Chad, I'm playing on an Xbox controller and uh, all the button prompts you see down there are not, are for Xbox. So I had to think about that for a second. Can someone explain raw dogging to me, thanks? Says Steph. 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 Run and hide, Steph. Steph, no! Steph, nobody tag Steph. Steph, you're about to get a lot of DMs. I'm so sorry. Don't do that, Steph. You can't be a pretty lady in your avatar and ask what raw dogging is, Steph. Holy crap. Think of your safety. Are you afraid of death? Nah, not really. When my time comes, it comes. I just want to be... Jesus, Nonoku, you're, you're getting pretty heavy. You're getting pretty heavy these days. Am I, is Kyle Hill afraid of death? Nah, not really. So many things I can't control. And as long as I feel like I've made an impact on other people when my time comes, whenever that is, I mean, how, how angry can I be, right? I feel like if I can be happy with what I've done in my life, then when my life ends, a lot, a lot of people aren't happy with what they did, what they, with what they did in life. Well, and so if I'm happy, then that's fine. It's like, you know, what's gonna happen? What, what else What else could I do, you know? Yes. I like, I actually like this, I like this weapon in the game a lot. It's a commitment to the future of mankind. Although I'm always trying to uh, ADS, but it doesn't have that. Let me in. Yeah, just enjoy the time you hit. Chat, as I always say, this is all we got, you know? 
try to be a good person, try to affect other people, try to live life in an ironic, interesting way. What else can you do? I've had a couple of people in my family pass away recently. Um, and, you know, how I come to terms with it is, for the most part, all of those people have had long lives doing what they wanted to do. They have many grandchildren. They're loved by many for many years. I mean, what else can you possibly want, you know? And so when they passed, it's like, well, at least they had a, you know, they had a great life. So how, how sad can I be? Yes. Punch. 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 Rip his guts out. Eviscerate. Yes. Yes. Do demons even need hearts? Don't care. Rip his cranium open. Where are your bodies? Yes. I have... Steph, you Google it? Great. Do you realize the folly of your ways now? Jared is now a facility game game. Welcome, buddy. If you are indeed my buddy. You don't have to be, that's fine. Yeah, Berserk makes you feel very powerful. That's, uh, that's Arya's favorite upgrade. Space Daddy, when are we going to the park? It's infinite lefty. Chat, um... Will you get it together? You thirsty degenerates. Would it be possible to make a plasma rifle in real life? How much electricity would it take to shoot? We've made stuff... I mean, I've seen stuff like plasma rifles. Again, the problem... The problem with a sci with a science rifle, with a plasma rifle, is that um, plasma is just hot gas. It's really, really hot gas. It gets hot to the point where um, the gas becomes ionized, where the electrons get ripped off of gas molecules. And being a hot gas, that gas wants to expand, much like a ripped fart. And so if you shoot a, a, a some mass of plasma out of the barrel of a gun, it's going to immediately enter the atmosphere, encounter lower pressures and temperatures, and go Bleh. And so having a plasma bullet doesn't really make sense. It's, it's not the same as any other kind of ballistic, right? Now, you can have these guns that shoot a little bit of a distance, basically like a hot flame. You know, just like, you. I wouldn't want plasma shot in my face from three inches away, but you have to, you would have to be pretty close to be hit with a small amount of plasma, right? Um, could you make a gun that shoots luscious locks of hair? That's how I reproduce, did you know that? Okay. What type of gas do you need for plasma? Yes. Plasma rifle or railgun? Railgun all the way. Railguns with, if you have a sufficient power source, you can accelerate small pieces of material, they don't even have to be bullets, to ludicrous velocities, and that can do just a, an immense amount of damage. And so if you have a pe just the guns, I think in um, Mass Effect, canonically work by just shaving off little pieces of metal and accelerating them. And so you don't even need bullets, you can just take a chunk of metal and just accelerate parts of it off into people. Um, and that's very efficient. What about the sonic screwdriver from Doctor Who? I don't watch Doctor Who. I know what you mean, but I don't, I don't, and I don't like the show. <laughs> Surface of Mars, Mars, look at it. Kyle is just a plant with limbs. What? Oh, how I reproduce gun. 
I'm blocking your access to the facility scanner. Come to the Vega terminal, and I'll give you what you need. He's he's the voice. This voice actor, his voice is so cool. I love it. Give me. Wait, do I go back now? I'm not paying attention. I'm mostly just sciencing. Laser meow. Are you winning, son? Yes. Haven't died yet. Thoughts on Elon's plans to get to Mars? I don't really. I don't trust Elon Musk to do anything. I'll be. I'll be the first to admit. When he first became, you know, a public figure, I was working at Nerdist, and Dan Casey and I, we started a whole YouTube show. I mean, it wasn't exactly our idea, but we started a whole YouTube show about Elon Musk and covering the interesting things that he was doing. And they are interesting. Um, but in the years since we stopped doing that show, um, it was because, it was specifically because he's clearly just an asshole. Like, he has interesting ideas, but he's, as he got more and more famous, it was clear that that's what he enjoyed. He enjoyed shit posting and having bad takes and being controversial. And and so I, I think he's just kind of an asshole loser who's had some good ideas and has gotten very rich. But that's about it. Get out of my face. Ugh. That's about it. That's, 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 that's about all I'm willing to say about him, you know. Kinethius, thanks for being here. Yeah, we are all fooled by the must. That's why people with Teslas are getting stickers and say, sorry, I bought this before I knew he was such a weirdo. Chet, I promise you, if I ever get that rich, if I ever get Elon Musk rich, I promise you that I will not self-cancel on a daily basis. I won't. I'll like cure malaria. That's what I'll do. Hey. Whoa! Nice moves, dude. Folded. Yeah, no, exactly. If I ever got that rich, you would never hear from me again. Yeah, exactly. You would only hear about the good things that I have done. I wouldn't ever have to speak publicly again. What's the point? That guy should have been a linebacker, huh, Chad? I need the plasma shield to get around this guy. I mean, the plasma gun. Did I miss it? Rip and tear, says Karina, who's been in the chat for 10 months. Happy to have you here, of course. Why is Professor X in the chat? Well, he, he could sense that I was playing Doom. Yeah, Chad, if I had, if I could live self-sufficiently on an island, that'd be it. Thanks for answering my question. I'm not sure what to think of him, says Tom the English Picker. I think I mean, look, I'm I guess I'm biased in a certain way about Elon, but I think it's also pretty clear what his priorities are and how smart he actually is. I mean, he just just go by his actions and his words. I think that speaks for itself. Chat, we're already actually nearing the halfway point of the chat, of the stream. Oh. You can still make Aria play if you want to with a sufficient donation incentive. Wow, he's owning me with that. Uh oh. Where's my. Did I miss the plasma ring? Uh oh. Wow. I did not expect to die. Huh. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. Did not expect that. Did not expect to die there, Chen. Well, did I, I think I missed the plasma rifle, didn't I? Like, because that's how you blow up those shields in an easy way. Most people who die don't expect it. That's not true. I mean... Percentage-wise, I don't actually know if that would be true. Look at this guy, linebacker. Ah, fourth down! Put me in, coach! Woo! I'm dying from heartburn, if that makes you feel any better. Well, no, it doesn't. Um,
Yeah, whatever. Chad, if you've been, this reminds me for some reason. Ah, my body! If you've been hearing more and more about the coming dangers of generative AI, I have a video coming out soon where I get very, I, I, I will show you just how concerned I am about generative AI. I get pretty, uh, it's like channeling Bo Burnham during, uh, <laughs> during Inside. That's my level of, it's a warning chat. We're not ready. Gwen, welcome. Happy to see you again. Ow! How am I getting past this deuce? Deuce, I said. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, okay. Kyle, my girlfriend broke up with me yesterday and I'm having hard feelings about it. Hill House, I am very sorry to hear that. And I, But I know you just joined the Discord as well, Hill House, last week. Um, so get in there, talk to some people in some of the channels. We have a mental health channel. We have dozens of channels you can get involved in. Just take your mind off of it. And it's her loss, Hill House. Definitely her loss. Um, Lila says, don't you use AI for some of your thumbnails? Uh, yes. But I do believe there is some, there is a through point where we will be able to use, through points, definitely not the right word, where we will be able to use generative AI in a way that isn't explicitly harmful. And so the way that all these gaming stream um, thumbnails are made is initially with AI, but then there's a lot of um, Photoshop from Dagon. So we're not explicitly trying to recreate someone else's style or anything like that. Um, but what I'm worrying about is the proliferation of tools specifically, the, the proliferation and adoption of AI tools, and they get exponentially more powerful and cheaper and I think that is what we have to curb. I, I would like widespread global regulation right now. Um, I mean, if you think the Taylor Swift stuff is bad, just wait, just wait. Without, um, without uh, regulation and without taking this seriously, it is gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Trust me. It's a gift. Take it. It will give you strength. Help you on your journey. If you can withstand the power surge. Pure Argent energy. I like that Samuel Hayden's a robot. It seems to agree with you. Hmm. I will unlock the remaining Argent cells within the facility. See what I mean about, hey, where'd you get that? Hey, you can't use that word. You gotta pay me to use that word. 61,337 UAC members deceased. 81% of the facility is on lockdown. Demonic presence through the large institution. Chat, if you're enjoying the stream, we're almost at the halfway point. Spam your favorite emoji or your emoji of me if you're a Membi. I want to see it! My thumb's all cut up because I went bowling. Oh yeah. 
The red, the, the drummer from the Red Hot Chili Peppers was bowling with us last night. That was pretty cool. Look how cool this is. Yes, my facility. I must go and destroy them. Flea is not the bait is not the drummer. Yes, you guys are on a 10 second delay. Kyle, if you could, would you have your consciousness in a robot body? Yeah, sure, why not? It was the bassist? No, it was the drummer. Yeah, it was Will Ferrell, exactly. 20 science times, come on. Chad, this is basically, this is basically better than school. Yes, I know, it was Chad Smith, damn it. Beep, boop, bop, 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 bop. Why are my comments getting deleted? I don't know. Might be saying a certain word or posting links or something like that. And then you get automatically bopped. Think I'm gonna go play Elden Ring or something, says John Doe. Okay. Okay. Meltdown. I know a thing or two. Infinity Lefty, top five bases of all time. Go. After running more diagnostics on the active suit, meat. it appears that I can accelerate the upgrading of your arsenal. Release the cabins. No. They know what they did. I have added a tracker to your helmet's display. How do you know all these cool people? I heard about Arya's cosplay you won at auction. It's like you're in the 1% of geekdom. Says Diesel Frost. Yeah. I guess you could say yeah, I'm in the top 1% of geeks, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Arya was personal friends with Grant Imahara, and I was adjacent friends with him, and we bought one of his uh, outfits that she wore back from the Mythbusters collection for charity. Steve the Beave, since the Earth's core is magnetic, would an aircraft levitate using electromagnets? No. Um, the, so you can have magnetic levitation. That's how, you know, maglev trains and stuff like that work. But you need magnetic fields um, that are much, much, much more powerful. Um, the magnetic field of the Earth is weaker than a refrigerator magnet. And so to have any kind of magnetic levitation, you would have to have it um, much stronger. Not only much stronger, science time, but you'd also have to have it much closer. It decreases with the inverse square of the distance. So you need to be much, much closer. The Earth's, I don't know if you know this, but the Earth's core is like 6,000 miles down. Something like that. Banshee Bla Backlash with the 10, I'm a simple man. I see Kyle streaming one of my favorite games of all T, and I turn in. I'll be back for Doom Eternal if you play it too, says Banshee Backlash. Hey, if this stream is doing well, I don't know if it is. I don't see numbers. Then we will return to it. Uh, Earth's magnetic field is weaker than a fridge magnet? Yes. Uh, Flea, Claypool, Victor, and Ryan Martinet. Hmm, I think I, th I would also... Infinity Lefty, I'd say Claypool, Wooten, Pistorius, um, hmm, those are my top three right now. 357, that is one of our highest ever, let's Facility get back to the Dooming! Allow you access to the turbine room unless the demonic threat level is brought Chad. down inside the Chad, all of you watching, science times the Doomy times, let's do it. What about Lemmy? Lemmy, Lemmy is good, but he's not the best bassist. So if I were, if when I'm ranking bassist, I'm a musician. So when I rank bassist, I would go by technical ability. And by technical ability, Victor Wooten, Les Claypool, and Jaco Pistorius are just basically unmatched. Oh, they're coming for me. Finally, I can ADS with this thing. Pop, pop. 
dun 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 Headshot, headshot, headshot. I very much like, in Eternal, they made these headshots strong, but they made them cost like six bullets. So I very much like that I can, these only cost one bullet. I'm a bassist and you're spot on, says Trinosin. Yeah, I told you. Oh, hey. I told you I'm a musician, baby. Well, I play, um, I play uh, guitar, electric guitar, but I, I listen to a lot of bass. Access denied. I'm a big bass fan. He's probably there. He's probably. You're pro. Oh man, that guy is kind of scary. Huh? And you're an athlete. Don't forget, don't forget about rock climbing. Yes, Chad. I'm very Chadley. Okay, is that what you want me to point out? Yeah, I got a beard, great hair, a channel, guitar. Rock climbing, modeling. Okay, it's fine. Okay, guys, trust me. If anyone knows about all this, it's me. Um, but right now my finger is injured, so I'm not really rock climbing, which sucks. You fine, Kyle? This is artistic, Bunny. Bunny, will you, will you lock it in, Bunny? Where am I going? I'm mostly just reading chat. If that's okay with you. Yeah, I, I saw that. I saw an interview with Claypool the other day, um, Diesel, where I didn't know he auditioned for Metallica. I didn't actually know that. Hit. Karina with the 299. Thank you. We're almost actually at Australian time, which might be fun. I love this little, <laughs> they had it slide down like that. It's little stuff like that. It is great. Chat, what's your opinion on the Oxford comma? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not very good at writing anymore. Makes you really great to hang out with, says Fairy. The problem, the, the challenge is getting me to hang out, which I yes, do not like doing. Stopped. Time to rip it up. Rip it up. Rip it up. Yeah, you got me that one. Rip it up. Chad, give me something to science mindlessly while I do this. <laughs> Well, that's guy, this guy's almost gonna kill me here. How many holes does a straw have? Who do I look like, Vsauce? Oh, this is automatic too? I didn't know that. When it zoomed in? I didn't know that. Demonic threat reduced too late, chat. I ripped and teared them too quickly. Which earth plants will grow decently on Mars? I don't know. There's no organic material in the, um, well, if there is, there's very little of it or it's somewhere else, but there's no like topsoil organic material on the surface of Mars, Chet. And that's why you'd have to bring earth crops or you'd have to find a different way to adjust the topsoil. You'd have to, you'd have to um, terraform Mars in such a way. Um, but there's no organic material for wit or, or I, I would very much doubt there's enough phosphorus and nitrogen, organic material, water in the topsoil of Mars that you could grow anything. And in fact, I, I bet money on it that there's not, of course. Um, so you'd want to do that to get crops to live on Mars. But before that, you have to solve the atmosphere problem. You have to solve the magnetosphere problem. That's why, like in The Expanse, again, the most accurate sci-fi show maybe of all time. That's why they grow stuff underground, stuff that doesn't need to photosynthesize like mushrooms, fungi, things like that. And they, they make like raw protein out of that kind of stuff. Um, why not colonize Venus with blimps? Could we hang out in the upper atmosphere? That has been uh, uh, postulated for a long, long time, even by Carl Sagan. Hit. 
he imagines, well, I mean, he was high off of his mind, but he, uh, you know, sky sharks roaming through clouds, attacking space whales floating up there that would eat algae growing in the, growing in the, at the high atmosphere. If we drilled into Mars, would it possibly have oil or coal deposits? Again, no, because like I said with the, um, science side, I said with the organic material, right? Organic material that is compressed and heated and, and well, mostly compressed over a long, long period of time, that's what creates these hydrocarbons, these oil and gas deposits. Without that um, carbon, carbonaceous material, you don't get that. Um, we didn't have that on Earth for a long time until trees were around. Before that, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that like 300 million years ago, um, the carbonaceous, carboniferous, carbonaceous period, that's when all the trees were put down. That, that's when all the trees were putting down the first oil and gas deposits into the Earth's surface. And so most of oil and gas fossil fuels comes from that. It wouldn't be from fossils of um, dinosaurs, for example. Carboniferous period? Is that 350 million years ago? Kyle is the Brian May of YouTube. Jesus, I wish. He's so good at guitar, dude. And he's an astrophysicist. Is anyone cooler than him? Where am I going? You could not stand this close to lava. Lava, like ambiently, is what? 2000 degrees Fahrenheit? It's Einstein. Something like that? That's dangerous, chat. That's a dangerous chat. Rat right there? You don't want to do that, chat. I can't even, I can't, I can't even grab that dang old thing. Chat, we're like $8 away from Aussie time. And I know some of you like Aussie time. Kyle, this is the highlight of my week. I'm having a terrible year and your science of humor really helps. Infinity Lefty, get in here, enjoy. We're almost at the halfway point of today's stream, just in the next couple minutes here. But get in here, I appreciate you being here. I hope you have a, it's, hey, we got a lot of year to go. We got a lot of year still to go. Things can get better. In fact, I like to, I like to think about it like, where am I going? Like regression to the mean. You know what I'm saying? If things are really bad right now, they are more likely to get better than to get worse. You know what I mean? Where am I going? I'm just trying to doom. Wait, no, not that way. Wait, is it down there? Damn it. Ugh. We just keep on chugging, chat. Chug and plug. That's all you can do. The end of the day, chat. Oh, here we go. I <laughs> need a hand. <laughs> I love reading Daniel Kahneman. Yeah, he's good. One of the most influential psychologists slash economists of all time. I read a lot of his stuff when I was uh, doing my master's degree in communication and information processing. What? Yes. Calm down, will you? Almost at the halfway point of today's stream. That was like an Arnold Schwarzenegger move right there. Come on, try to get to me. So glad Arya posted that it on Twitter. Posted what? Can Kyle do a Cookie Monster voice? No. What, I can't just, I think I just can just do anything. 
You th Chet, you think I can just do anything? Chet. Oh yeah, give me hit me with some of that. Chet. having a good time if you're enjoying something but more importantly if you've learned anything today Chat, welcome back. I could do that literally for three hours. Um, chat, welcome back to a Scientist Plays Doom 2016. 
I'm your host, Kyle, man. We're already through 25 science times. Can we make it double that by the end of the stream? We'll see. Right now, we're ripping our Terran. We're ripping and Terran our way through Mars. Show your support for the stream if you're liking it by liking it. Join us in the membership here to get those sweet badges you see. And or join us at patreon.com slash Kyle Hill to get access to the private discord where many of you, I now see you every day and you ping me, which is super fun. But chat, if I'm going to provide you with some of the best science plus gameplay you can find anywhere on the internet, you know that I have to make sure my brain, which has a severe headache right now, probably from the head banging and all the drugs. Um, you know, I have to keep my mind fresh if I'm going to look like that. Whew. Imagine if I was, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Now that guy is hot. Um, I need to make sure my brain stays fresh. I like to do that by playing at the halfway point, some connections where you make connections with words, phrases, concepts, children's nursery rhymes, and they try to trick you. So it makes may make sure all my neurons are firing before we hop right back in to do me, do me. Don't clip what I just said. So let's see what we can do. I have this pulled up over chat. So no matter what you see, I cannot be spoiled by you. Even though you do spoil me sometimes. <laughs> Give me them digits. Give me that number. Give me your cell. Give me your contact information. Oh, like I said, uh, or I was going to say, Chad, I'm way too good at this game. So if I do make all of these mistakes and I fail, I will be gifting five subs to the chat. But good luck. <laughs> the top edge of something? The top point? Ah! Still have the most difficult connection to make, which is in purple, usually. Hmm. Hmm. I think these are like sizes of animals. Like a, like a, like a sizes of dogs. Ah! inside a Scrabble box? Are you freaking kidding me, New York Times? That one's pretty difficult. That one's pretty difficult. Chad, of course, welcome back. You got it, Zaddy, says Ashley. Thank you. Oh my God, you like my hair? Just bought it. Don't clip that either. I love connections. I love connections. I really do. It's just how uh, uh, being someone of the neuro spicy persuasion, my brain and Chompy in the chat will know this. My brain basically just works on connections and like SEO and stuff. I don't, unless it's science stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that I, I just do not know the specifics for at all. I just know what they are related to. Like, oh, that's that thing. I called a multivitamin the other day, a nutrition bean. It's just SEO. It still makes sense. It's a bean of nutrition. Ferrologics, can I do a black man accent? Always great having new viewers from outside the main audience base.
From this day henceforth, I shall call vitamins nutrition beans. But Carl, everyone's brain works on connections, so it's Justin Chug. You know what I mean, Justin. Holy guacamole. Chat, we are up to 25 science times. We're almost up to Australian time as well. All you new viewers, hi. <laughs> I'm your host, Kyle Man. I'm your personal scientist. You're millennial Bill Nye with depression, if you will. And my main job is to explore and explain, educate and entertain everything underneath the stars and beyond. That's my day job. But we also like to give you some of the only science and gaming streams on the internet, probably the only ones. And that's why we're here today. And I also, as a side hustle, practice accents for no reason. So we do have a donation incentive for that. Any Australians in the chat, I apologize ahead of time. Eileen Kenny Breen gifting the five gaming memberships, making up for me being too good at connections. Thank you, Eileen. Longtime member now at this point. Thank you for being here. It's usual, Eileen. Hey, if you were standing next to a building and you only had one leg, boot one with the 10. If a D&D &D item could shrink weapons into marbles, how far would the mass differ as a, how far could the mass differ as a marble and weapon to be able to throw it and keep momentum as it transforms back into a weapon? The main problem you'd have boot one is that if you take Let's say a sword, it's a 10 pound sword. If you take a, you know, five kilogram, 10 pound sword, how are you with the German accents? It's Glovesman. I don't know. Um, the main problem is, is, that it, is that if you take like a 10 pound, five kilogram sword and you condense it down to a marble size, the density is gonna be insane. Um, I would have to calculate it. <laughs> I would have to calculate it. Chet, and if you're new here, you might be thinking to yourself, like, what, he's, what, Kyle also does math live on stream because he's like, he, it's that incredible? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Look at that, we're in like a, hey, look, it's you. Chet, how big is a marble? Let's say half an inch. Let's say half an inch diameter, okay? So, I'm, I'm showing you your D&D group's main problem here, okay? Chet, don't look at all the other things I searched with nine. Okay, so. The problem, let's say we have a 10 pound sword. We wanna shrink that down to a marble before we throw it. We divide that by the volume of the sphere, which is four divided by three times pi times the radius, what I say is half an inch, 0.25 inches squared, oh, uh, cubed, sorry. So this will give us a density, mass in a volume. And what I like is I can use pounds here because Wolfram Alpha will automatically convert it. So then we will get a density. And the density issue is 30 times the density of a sun. You see the issue here? If you took even just a sword this worth of mass and you condense it down to the size of a marble, it would be so dense, it would be the densest thing on Earth, it would, it would fall through your hand and it would bury itself going towards the center of the Earth. I don't know if it would fall through your hand. It's still not that heavy. It's 10 pounds. But being denser, it would go through the ground and on its way to the center of the... Uh, uh, you get what I'm trying to say. It's a density problem, Chet. How will is that New Zealand accent coming? Uh, it's not that good. Uh-oh. Justin Chug. I was just kidding. No, no, hey, no problem, buddy. 
Luis Fejes with the 20. Bring on that that Australian accent. Let me just double check. Let me just double check because I don't trust you guys. Double check. Let's, let me just do a discount double check. Oh, no. It's time. It's time, chat. Yeah, boot one, you'd have a density issue. I'd worry about that. And um, if you think about it, what, what you're talking about is, does it still have the same momentum? Well, yeah. Momentum is just mass multiplied by velocity. And so the mass and velocity of the object isn't changing. What's going to change is how that object is going to move through the air if you throw it. If you take something the size of a marble and you it instantly goes to the size of a sword, size and shape of a sword, then the... Um, the... Um, chat... Engineers in chat, what am I thinking of? Moment of inertia is going to be quite different, and so it could it, it could quite it, it could it could alter the way that you uh, throw the weapon. Chris Hemsworth, oh, I wish it would instantly convert into a black hole. No, I didn't. Is that true? No, that's definitely not true. The Australian accent sounding particularly light, particularly nice today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, Mark. Um. A black hole's density would have to be much, much smaller than a marble for just 10 pounds. Um, I think even Earth down there is like, it's it's like marble size are, get, are getting around there. It's it, You have to have a, trillions and trillions of kilograms in a small space to rip space-time asunder, Chet. Damn. But Chet, I know there's a lot of newbies here. See, Prince Wince right there. Why is he Australian? Don't worry about it. At first time, people here are going to think Kyle's an Australian in Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. Get on with your gameplay. Let's go, boy. Did you like that? Little rhyme I came up with? A little bit of feedback. Words like particularly and marble have much less of an R in the Australia accent. This is Triocene. Triocene, give me a, a rating. No Aria time? No, we didn't meet it. If you want Aria time, you can donate for it. But I'm not just going to let it take over my game and, and not know where to go for 35 minutes and not have a be able to shoot very well. Although you like her a lot, you'll probably like her more than me, to be honest. Tyrosine giving me an 8 out of 10. Okay. What about a neutron star? What about a piece of a neutron star the size of a marble? Um, marble. Uh, I see what you're saying with the R, oh, marble. Um, the issue with that is that a neutron star, neutron star's material is only at that size because of the immense pressure that it's under. Gravity is keeping that neutron material, neutron material. That gravity is doing that. It's keeping it basically, well, not basically, it's keeping it the size, uh, the shape of the sphere. And so if you were to remo remove any amount of that neutron star material from the neutron star itself, it wouldn't be under that immense pressure keeping it together, correct? And so if you took neutron star material, even, even, you know, threat reduced by 50%. even that amount you always hear about in, um, in examples, like uh, if you had uh, like a tablespoon's worth of neutron star, blah, blah, blah. You would never be able to have that because it would explode. It would literally explode like a, gig a gigantic explosion as material no longer under that immense gravitational compression expanded outwards in all directions. How does electron degeneracy work, says Justin Chug. Oh, God, okay. So, as a star, when a star collapses down, collapses down on itself, it can be held back from becoming a black hole by first electron degeneracy pressure. Now, electron degeneracy pressure is the pressure that keeps electrons from occupying the same space. 
but you can force electrons and protons together. You can, you can, it can overcome the strong nuclear forces and you can actually force electrons and protons together if you have enough gravity, if you have enough mass. Mass? Ma mass? 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 Um, and if you have enough mass, you can overcome this electron degeneracy pressure and then it, the star collapses again and it goes down to neutron degeneracy pressure. And so neutrons not wanting to come together, that's what, that's what keeps a neutron star a star. But if you have enough mass, you can even overcome the neutron degeneracy pressure, Chet. And then you have a black hole. It's mass like Mars. Enough Mars. Is it? Anyway. That was at least two science times right there. Ah, Doom. Doom is what happens when you skip Sunday school. I know, right? Where am I going? I remember getting, I played this, I played this campaign on two or three times now, and I always get lost during this section. I remember getting lost during this section a lot. Maybe I go to the glowing thing, Chip. I'm speed running. Go to this thing. Woo. Who's there? I hear you. I hear your dirty bones. My electrons are degenerate. No, I hope not. And I think electron degeneracy pressure comes from the Pauli exclusion principle, doesn't it? Electrons are the same spin, not being able to occupy the same space. Yeah. Give me your body. Give me your body. What game would you say that you're the best at? Oh! Uh, Magic the Gathering. Probably. Like, I don't, I don't do speed runs. I don't like, I don't really like play video games in any way competitively. But I do play Magic the Gathering competitively sometimes. Let me in! Let me in! Um, and I have very, ex I have very expensive magic cards. How many times have you played this game already? I'd say this campaign for this one, maybe two? Maybe two? Oh, I need the blue key card. It's gonna be up there somewhere. What actually is Magic the Gathering? I never really looked into it. Uh, Alaska Monarch. Uh, Magic the Gathering is the world's most popular trading card game. So it's a trading card game. Wait. Ah, where am I going? Chat, I don't know where I'm going. Probably up there. Yeah. Oop. How do I get up there? There? Right there? Right there? No. Right there? Right here? No. How do I get up there, shit? Uh, uh. Up there? No. Oh, it's right. God, <laughs> I'm dumb sometimes. That's yellow. Gotta go back. Uh oh. It's fine, shit. Whatever happened to Yu Gi Oh? It's still around. It's still. Yu Gi Oh is very popular. Oh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy, isn't he? Hey, look at this beautiful creature. Bye-bye. Right. Right. Would a real Death Star essentially be a Dyson Sphere in terms of power? Um, I don't know. Are you, are you, are you, are you actually asking how much where would a Death Star get all that energy? I'm trying to shoot his little feeties. Stay away! I'm trying to shoot your little feeties! Bye-bye. 
Kyle, have you ever calculated the mass of the sun? What do you think I do, just sit around calculating masses of stuff? Well, first of all, yes, I do do that. You do do that sometimes. But no, I've never directly calculated the mass of the sun for myself. Yeah, chat, they named it after me. It's a kyber crystal. Think about it. Think about it. Kyber crystals. It's me, chat. Think about it. Chun, 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 chun. Aussie cookie monster? Aussie cookie monster? <laughs> Maybe. Just joined. Love Doom Law. Can't wait for Kyle to explain how bonkers it is, says Keebzilla. Well, Keeb, the fun thing about YouTube is that you can rewind at any time. If you'd like to, we're already up to 31 science times. Woo! Over there. On the day. Kyle, why are you talking like that? Don't worry about it, chat. Don't worry about it. Am I going the right way for any of this? I don't think I am. Maybe I am. Yeah. Look at the map, Kyle. No. You're a big fella. Ain't you? Am I going the right way? Where am I now? Where's that? Where's that going? What? What's up there? Who am I? Where am I? What year is it? How many... How many woodchuck chucks? Don't miss a rocket launcher in there? I'm trying to get to the yellow key card. Can't find... I can't find where the hell it is. Like I said, I always get confused in this section. Would you play the Outer Worlds? Yes. I have it downloaded. Where am I going? Chat. You can't really help me. We're on a 10 second delay. Uh. Promising. I'm lost in Mars, Chet. I'm lost in the surface of Mars. Wait, 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 wait. Go around, go there. No, go there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Warm, core temperature rising. You got my core temperature rising, buddy. There we go. Oh, it's a big boy, isn't he? He's a big boy, isn't he? Shit. Gimme. This hot woman AI voice got me acting on what? What's your most profound experience during your years of science? Um, I mean, going inside the Chernobyl sarcophagus was pretty, pretty unreal. Pretty wild that I was there. Deek, welcome. Remember, yes. Give me this thing. I like this. I, I like this one. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. the elephant foot in Chernobyl that is the main or the largest amount uh, the largest section of corium 
that melted through reactor number four and into the basement of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. It looks, the way it melted and the way that it cooled and solidified, um, it looks gray, like a grayish, large foot of an elephant. Do you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? I don't. I really don't. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, the chainsaw, one of the most, one of the most fun weapons. You think you can science Pal World, Kyle? If you guys want me to play Pal World, I will, but I don't really have, uh, but I don't really, uh, have a... Chat! Look what happened to me. Chat, that was your fault. If you looked at the elephant's foot, how long would it take to unalive you? Um, you can be, you could, you could be around, uh, given the radiation rates around the elephant's foot right now. Oh no. Around the elephant's foot right now, um... You could stand near the elephant's foot for a couple of hours. John Day with the $100. Somehow I didn't realize you stream games. So I said, thanks for all I've learned watching your stream. Here's $100. Everybody, please give it up for John Day in the chat. Let's give him some hearts. Let's give him some emojis. Let's give him whatever he wants, which is hopefully maybe Aria playing <laughs> for perhaps a shortened period of time. Let it in there. Thank you, John. You don't, uh, like I said before, you don't uh, need to donate, but of course we appreciate it when you do. Thank you for your patronage. Oh no. It's gonna happen, isn't it? Oh yeah, right, this is where I died. I'm like, <laughs> having some deja vu shit. Oh, it's cowboy time. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. We did meet that donation. It's, oh, that's a big boy right there. These city slickers coming in here, try to figure out, whew, you trying to figure out. Ah, oh, we do things a little bit different here at the ranch, okay? Okay, shit. This guy here, now, he's a big boy. He looks like he grew up down in, that guy, that guy looked like he grew up in, in Illinois, eating good food. Turning over big rocks, looking for roll the polish, you know. Katie Blight, love watching the cow hanging with the nephews, dropping science on them. Sorry, I'm like Katie, get in here, get your nephews in here, tell them rope them up, rope them up, sit them down, tell them that that learn, that learning is coming. Enjoying your first game streams as Elite Eater. Welcome. You might be confused by the accents. Too bad. Happy to have you here. Um, yeah, I realize that I put cowboy and I sound more like just someone from Texas or Wyoming, but um, too bad. That's what I named it. Blow your key card. Blue key. I'm getting my accents mixed up. Woo! Come on. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. Pretty close to an Aria takeover. I don't, I, 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 I'm sure that will go well. <laughs> Six out of 10 cowboy accent. But come on, you don't like this one? You don't like this one? Chat, if you don't like. Bye bye. Chat, if you don't like, if you don't like a squid billy accent, if you don't like that, feel free to suggest right now in the comments a different accent that I could do. And I'll do it. Hey, I'm just testing it out, man. Hey, hey, I'm just testing it out, man. I'm your Huckleberry. Ooh, oh, oh, thank God someone made uh, a tombstone reference. I'm your Huckleberry. Uh, well now, John Ringo, you look like someone just walked over your grave. Fight's not with you, Holiday. Oh, I beg to differ, sir. We had a game we never got to finish. Play for blood. <coughs> Remember? 
Well, I was just playing about. I wasn't. Say when. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? God, he's so good in that. I'm not... You know, I was... Uh, I was playing these games before I was paid to play one. Which is what I like. Wait, what was I just doing? I blacked out for a second. Oh, Tombstone, right. <laughs> I'm the Huckleberry. I haven't worked on that accent. I've only, I was only doing, I only really like that scene. I haven't practiced that accent at all. It's high noon. Chris Riley with the 20 helping to get the Aria takeover. Or, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Chad. Chad, if I'm getting confused in this section. Chad, if I'm getting confused in this section, you don't wanna. I'm warning you. Reaching critical levels. Oh. Gotta do some McConaughey, bro. Gotta do some McConaughey here. <laughs> I do, I do. Woo! Oh. You were just too high strung. You ain't nobody's daisy. He's got the sniper rifle. I think I'm. Be I think I'm actually best at the Australian accent. Like I think my southern is too stereotypical. Dodge. I need. I'm. I'm very much missing my double jump at the moment. Slow mo. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, big boy. Switching between the two is hilarious. It's very confusing vocally and mentally. It's hard for me to. Oh, man. Banshee Backlash with the $50 donation, which only means one thing, chat. I'll be right back. I'm here. <laughs> can anyone, can you, you guys can hear me? Yeah? yeah? Oh my God. Hi. Uh, Kyle is just off screen in case I forget what any of the buttons do. <laughs> All right. I don't even know where he is in the game. I'm just gonna start where he was. Uh, hello friends. It's Aria time. Are you excited for Aria time? So fun facts about me is I love this game and I'm terrible at it. So. That's where we're going. That's what we're doing. All right, let's. Oh sh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh no. Oh. All right, not off to a good start. Not off to a good start.
Where are you, big jerk? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I got on fire. <laughs> anyway. Did and I did I did not lie. Okay, so this butt you hold to switch weapons. <laughs> Kyle reminded me what the buttons do. Okay. That's to switch weapons. Switch weapons, got it. You flick this in to punch. Oh right, I can punch. Yes. We can lower the distance. No, I'm gonna punch. So presence reduced to minimum save level. I thought that was my voice. That sounds like me. <laughs> Alright. Disengaged. It really sounds like me. Weird. Turbine on yeah. doors now open. Turbine on doors now open. Oh wait, are all the demons gone? Did I kill them? Oh. Okay. Do, 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 do. Over there? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, punch it. Yeah. I love the, uh, we're just gonna actually punch the buttons approach. How long do I take over for- uh, oh, 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 there's the baddies. Sorry, I was trying to reach out. Alright, I've remembered how to aim, so that's good. Oh, you're not going to be getting any science facts from me, by the way. Unless they're science facts that I made up. Like, uh, did you know that much like the moon is made of cheese, Mars is made of spicy salami? It's true. Science fact. Oh, I do love punching. Wait, where's my chainsaw? Do I have a chainsaw? Yeah, square. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna chainsaw this bitch. Give me health. Give me someone to chainsaw in the face. Oh, yes. Yes, give me your stuff. Give me your shit. I don't like this gun. I don't remember how to do glory kills. Punch. <laughs> That's how you do glory kills. Okay. Kyle talking to me and I can barely hear him. Big boy in here. Oh, up, 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 up. There we go. It's all coming back to me. Cue Celine Dion. More science facts. Plasma is goo. Science fact for you. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I'm just vibing right now. Oh, I get to call you guys chat. That's so cute. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, big boy. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the ass. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No! Damn. All right, let's, let's take a quick chat break here. Oh, wait. There's a button for that. Ha, ah, look at me. Did you make the monitors pink for me? Yep. I love it. Okay, hello, hello. I'm also glad I made it to the game. Okay, wait, can I scroll up? No, okay. I just gotta read what's how I can't scroll up. I don't know how to scroll up. I'm going to Cowboy Kyle running play-by-play. -play. <laughs> that would be funny, actually. Um, make one of these that's me in the Doom Guy suit. I can scroll now? Yeah, I can see your head. Uh, oh, there we go. Alright, let's see, I'm gonna... Oh, Arya ASMR. Plasma is indeed goo. Yes. Scalp spot. <laughs> back on the cheese. Uh, back on the cheese. I don't know what that means. Okay. I want to be in a Doom suit. I actually really want to do a gender swap Doom guy cosplay. Real bad. Real bad. Uh, arms okay. I no longer have a cast. It's just in a brace that I can take off, which is nice. I can wash my hair now. Hair is freshly dyed. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you have a combo about cheese. Oh. Well, uh, science fact. Moon is made of spicy... No, moon is made of cheese. Mars is made of spicy salami. You heard it here. Tell NASA. Oh, Kyle has been... Yeah, he's... He's uh, co-piloting right now. It's right, it's right behind me, isn't it? All right, we're gonna... I'm gonna get back to it. Wait, which button do I push? This one. Oh. Oh no, what did I do? Did I break it? Oh. Yeah, good thing my hair's not green. <laughs> I will always defend cheese. Call me the knight of cheese. No one talks bad about cheese in my presence. What is the secret of Kevin? Dude, not even I know the secret of Kevin. That is known to Kevin and Kevin alone. Lockdown disengaged. All right. And more demons are going to come. Where are you, spicy boys? There the spicy boys are. Get down from there. I didn't say you could go up there. Don't shoot lasers at me. Don't you shoot lasers at me. Hey, hey. I'm going to give you a stern talking to, sir. We're going to have words. Oh, ammo. Uh, different gun. Give me your bullets. Where's the big boy? <laughs> oh, I love cutting them in half. Don't shoot lasers at me! Would you already? Little fireball bitch. I'll 
probably swear a lot more than Kyle does, I'm sorry. <laughs> just, I just have a lot of feelings. I need to be expressed via profanity. All right, not good at aiming and running at the same time. So we'll figure that out. I couldn't even start my chainsaw. Oh, it's out of it's out of gas. Well, there's your problem. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Just keep shooting until they take me. Oh, there we go. Oh no, getting curb stopped by demons. All right, he's gonna lower the difficulty for me, and I'm gonna. Oh, you already did. Oh. I wanted to push the button. How am I gonna play through? Okay. Oh. He shouldn't have given me buttons. Okay. I'll do this and you talk. All right. So, that really sounds like me. Yes. Uh, oh, did somebody, did somebody miss the, the Aria takeover? Uh, the earth is made of broccoli. Broccoli. Science fact, the Earth is technically a ravioli. Yep. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> Winning isn't important. You're right. Uh, punching demons is important. I'm having a great time. I, Kyle keeps reminding me that I don't have to, like, lean into the microphone. That, like, if I'm back here, you can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> raviolis are, or pillows are raviolis. I can get behind that. That's poetry, John. The earth is ravioli and the solar system is a charcuterie board. I'm sorry for my terrible Italian impression. <laughs> Ravioli isn't lasagna, you're, you're correct. Yeah. 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 Man, he doesn't even have eyeballs. My least favorite guys are the uh, the, the Doom version of Beholders. They're just like floating meatballs with a single eye. Hate those guys. Neutron stars are made of pasta. <laughs> the core temperature is now stabilized. Thank you, not me. The primary control room has been activated somewhere nearby. It could be Olivia. Give me that. Thanks. My mom's name is Olivia. <laughs> Walking through doors. Punch that. Punch and stuff. Oh, hello. Authorization. Olivia. How Pierce. much does that look like Ipsum? Alpha. Four, oh, quite a lot, zero, yeah. Two. Does look like her. She has locked me out, Dr. Hayden. Well, let, let me in. Stop doing creepy hand movements. 
She is trying to tear open the portal between our world and theirs. <laughs> I'm actually playing now. See, it's me this time. You could not have Tastiest planet. Me. That is hard. Um, hmm. Tastiest planet. Which planet do you think is the saltiest? Let me in. Yeah. <laughs> so I get I get way too excited about punching. The system won't allow anyone but Olivia to override it now. We will have to shut down the Argent Tower manually from the surface. That bitch. Saltiest is Pluto. <laughs> yes, Pluto would definitely be the saltiest. Oh, Earth would be pretty salty. You're right. You're right. Yeah, we got a lot of salt. But no, I'm going with Pluto is the saltiest due to uh, having its planet status revoked. Okay. Beginning of the end. Or is it the end of the beginning? Olivia is using the tower to drill a doorway into their world. You can prevent her from opening the gate Damn it, by Olivia. disabling the tower induction filters. Oh, you gotta reverse the polarity. Everybody knows that. Untethered cross-dimensional activity is a frequent occurrence outside of the base. So it is recommended that I like when they talk about how the uh, demonic activity is at unsafe levels, as if there is any safe level of demonic activity. Can't go in there. Where's the thingy? No. Like, what amount of demons are safe? I think zero demons. I'm gonna go with zero. Man, it's windy out here. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, All right, this is this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna fall off. The game is telling me I have to go over there. Yep, yep. Oh, well, where the fuck am I? Oh. Well. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I called it. You gotta jump. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta jump better. What's going on? No, I'm not Kyle, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> hmm. All right, we are going to jump. No! Oh my god. <laughs> I can't jump, apparently. Oops. Let's see what's happening in chat. Kyle at. <laughs> oh, no, can't do that. Maybe let's not. No, we're gonna try that again. We're just gonna do it better. Just gonna do it less bad. I, I must learn to eat more effectively. Update the science counter. Uh, I could, I could give you sword science, but it's not really relevant to the the science at hand. Also, I don't know that I would really call it science. I guess it's science. Ah, uh, yes, more yeet. Everything is improved by the addition of more yeet. Go more left. Okay, I'll try going more left. A guy named Hellseeker seems like he knows what he's talking about.
I have no idea how long Kyle's gonna let me play. I guess until whenever the stream is supposed to end. All right, more left. More left, he says. Oh, over here. There's another spot. Oh, I see, I see. Aha! Yes, that's the secret. Thank you, Hellseeker. You do know what you're talking about. Hey, there's demons up there. You bitch. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, he ran away. It's fine, I'll get you later. Am I supposed to go over there? Ah, okay. Oh, oh no. So I'm bad at jumping. We're learning. <laughs> oh, thank you, Heidi. I'm glad for the eye makeup. I put on makeup just in case I would get to be on the stream. So I'm glad that it's paying off. <laughs> Who got a higher score at bowling? Not me. I was not there. The floor is void. Um. All right, we're going to try that again better this time. I know this is the most fun part of watching the stream, is just watching me fall off of stuff. It's falling with style, minus the style. Okay, okay, all right, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna jump down here, we're gonna jump over there. Yes, good. We're gonna jump up here. Look, always look around for the green lights, man. those are always directed. I know that. Do you? Yeah. I'm gonna jump up here. Okay, from here, then I can jump over there. I think I can jump to there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I heard a demon. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, the nasty splorch sound when I fall off. What about Doom Guy's mom? It's been a while since I've, I've played a Doom. <clears throat> it's been a minute. It's not my first Doom rodeo, but it has been quite a while since I Doomed. Let me up there. Let me up there. And back over there. Fun fact, pressing the jump button harder does not make you jump better. Video game facts with Claire. Aria, sorry. sorry. Video game facts with Aria. I touched the thing. Oh, I gotta do a rune trial? I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna regular kill demons. I can hear them. I hear you making demony noises up here. Ah, uh, viscera. Ew. Hey, Bo. Can I have your gun? Sick. Oh yeah. We will be saving this bad boy for later. What? Oh. Yep, that's a grenade. Hey, buddies. Oh, I have no more grenades. Oh, they got shields. Oh no. Alright, don't uh don't detonate a rocket launcher too close to your own body. Plasma gun will take out the shields. Plasma gun will take out the shields. <laughs> they do sound like this. They need Ricola. <laughs> they are, they're very creepy. I 
I'm having fun. Are you having fun, chat? I hope you're having fun. Is it fun to watch me be bad at video games? Well, I'm not bad at all video games. Just most of them. Just the ones that require skill. <laughs> I'm at low health already. Give me a health. Bottom. Oh my god. <laughs> Play a round of connections. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Wonderlands is very fun. I'm better at that one. I'm really, I'm, I can do turn-based. I'm just not good at first-person shooters. This is goofy. It is goofy. I'm glad you're having a good time. I'll make an Aria emoji chat. <laughs> Calm down. What? Where's disembodied Kyle voice coming from? All right, it's you fuckers over here. You little shits. Give me health beans. You know what I think this calls for? Running away! It calls for running away! Oh, he was full of so many health beans. There's ammo's over there. Give me that. All right, chat, we did it. I only died twice. Go me. We're improving. Uh-oh, we got a royal rumble going on over here. Exact McFlesh Pod. Exact McFlesh Pod. That's, uh, that's what that thing's called. Oh, that pissed you off, huh?
Oh no. Oh no. Is that me? Oh, that's my head. Oh. Gross. All right, checking on the chat. What's going on, chat? Oh, I love Super Hot. Super Hot is so much fun. Play that shit for hours. I'm trying to show no mercy. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> An attempt is being made at no mercy showing. Almost. I was close. This game is more gory than yours. It's it's uh it's doom. It's got demons. One of my favorite things is uh looking at all the various devices that people had tried to install Doom on. I think my favorite was someone installed it on a was playing it on a sewing machine. Do you have a pregnancy test? A pregnancy test? Yeah. <laughs> I do know that red barrels explode. I tend to avoid exploding things because I'm usually too close to the explosions. <laughs> From speaking from my own personal experience. I'm not good at getting away from explosions. Alright, alright. Let's just be strategic here, right? What if I just lob a grenade at them before anyone even sees that I'm here? Oh, they saw me. Never mind, they saw me. Flesh pod. Man, they get so mad when you rip out their flesh pod. Good save, go me. Oh, geez. Don't shoot lasers at me. I told you. I have words about your laser shooting. Ooh, I did it. Yay. Oh, I didn't even get the shield. the button. Oh. <laughs> um, did I even hit him one time? No. There we go. <laughs> the bone cracking sounds are just so satisfying. Give me ammo. Wait, how do I? How do I? It's full. That's grenade. Grenade? It shows that it's full, too. Oh. You have unlimited grenades, but it takes a while to. Hmm. Any other shit in here? No, okay. Because I gotta get a sketchy platform. What's this? Give me that. Up here. This appears to not be working. Ha! Oh, here's the thing I can put my arm in. We're only 
temporarily disabling the tower. You need to remove each lens individually. Carefully release the hinges. <laughs> Carefully release it. Energy contamination detected. Destroying the production of Argent energy isn't necessary. Mm, but what if it's fun? Is this thing working now? No, where do I go? Where do I go? There's more demons in here. There's more demons in here. Who is that? Sweet. Is there more demons in here? Give me your shit. Give me that. No. No, I don't need it. Oh. <laughs> uh, science fact chat demons are full of goo science Ooh, I have Sauron. Uh, yeah. Gonna take more health. Alright, where do I go? Up. Oh, I see. Bottle of the green. Oh, again up. Let me up. Is there stuff up here? We gotta look for stuff. Stop. Need to go in there? No. Do, 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 do. We need to go in here. We've got this other you thing. Must stop. Okay. The hell energy is unusable without the filters. Cool. Um, I'm gonna stop this. Yep. Warning. What you are destroying is more valuable than you can possibly imagine. It is a perfect and unlimited energy resource. Yeah, but it's like full of demons, so... I guess a few problems with that situation. Oh. What? Go punch it! Punch it! Punch the door? There we go. Give me your stuff. 
Hey. Don't shoot lasers at me. No check. Oops. That's a little too effective. Do to do, do flesh sack. It's a, it's a nest or something, right? Oh, jeez. Getting spicy out here. Hey, who is... Stop doing that. What you get? Never gets old. Oh. People. Oh, what's happening? Say say hello and then goodbye to chat. Oh, I gotta go. Okay. I guess it's time for me to go. Thank you for having me, chat. This is very fun. <laughs> uh, I have enjoyed being here. I can't scroll up to see what people are saying, but. Thank you for doing the thing and letting me have fun and letting me I mean, be now, letting me be really bad at Doom. Uh, it's one of those topless. I'm wearing a top. Excuse you. <laughs> Aria should do her own streams. I would love that. Uh, I want to stream. I would stream stuff like I, I would like Baldur's Gate and like that's the kind of stuff I play. I mean, I play this sometimes, but I'm not good at it. What co-op game would you want to play with Kyle? Um, hmm. Oh. I know exactly. Portal 2. Portal 2, for sure. That was, I think that was kind of a plan at one point, was that we would play Portal 2. Wasn't it? Who could say? Laura Kyle has spoken. Uh, we're still up because of you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yay! All right, thank you all for being here. Um, I guess I'll... Wait, who was being creepy? Uh, nobody was being creepy. Uh, I guess I'll let Kyle take the stream back. But, bye! Wait. That one. That. We're being nice. Were we nice to my nicest AI companion, chat? Oh, sorry. Chat. Chat, did you enjoy the little bit of an Aria takeover? 
that was uh that was an experiment i know uh that was a decently sized um donation incentive so thank you again especially as you can see john day up there with the 100 dollar donation look chat that was that was just uh, a little bit of a um a little bit of an experiment if you want me to keep doing that um have an incentive because we're, we're we're slowly introducing aria into the uh into the landscape she's canonical of course so we're slowly introducing her into streaming uh I think she'll also want to get her own stream up and running, but we're just letting her, you know, kind of feel it out. Feel it out with all of my lovely professors in the chat, like Liz Calvert, Dave, Chris Riley. Um, chat, if you enjoyed her, uh, Chompy will also put in her socials in the chat if you want to follow her, if you're interested in cosplay, personal fitness, and hot takes from women with dyed hair. follow her but chat if you like that we'll do more of it we'll keep the incentive uh going in the next stream see if you want more aria takeovers we have to make chompy in the chat canonical so she can also take over at some point if she wants to chat Chat, did you learn something today? That's what's, that's what's important here at the facility, of course. Here inside these hallowed walls, inside of the blast doors. We're here to educate, entertain, explore, and explain. And also game, maybe? So if you learned something today, please spam your favorite emoji. Chat, I think we continue on. I think we continue on with Doom with 33 science times. That's pretty dang sciencey for a game. Always happy to have everyone here. Of course, a lot of newbies today. I love it. Love to see new people in the chat. Love to see the regulars in the chat and the members. Chris Riley, Heidi as always, Devils Never Cry. Not true with Doom, turns out. Chompy, thank you for being here. Karina, Mark, Dave, Patrick, Sir Patrick Stewart in the chat. Oh, I got an anime bang poking out here. Anime wind bangs. Artistic Bunny, now prolific chatter. Thanks for being here. Chat, um, I think we'll continue on with Doom. It won't take that many more streams to get through all of it. Um, we continue on with Doom and the Science Times, and I think um, we'll move on to Doom Eternal. But two uh, other things that I want to do... Uh, Um, other things that I want to do, um, there's new Atomic Heart DLC coming out this, uh, in early February. And of course, you know, we got to jump back into the horny fridge game. Um, and then, uh, Horizon Forbidden West is coming out on PC, so I think that'll be a good time to jump into the Horizon universe, Horizon Forbidden West and the original Horizon Zero Dawn. That will be chock-a-block full of science times. I'm sorry um, for all of you who are going to go back and watch the replay. I'm sorry for the um, technical difficulties at the beginning, but I think I think we made up for it for sure um, with that Aria appearance. Thank you for being so nice to her. Means a lot to me, of course. Chat, I hope you have, no matter where I see you next time, next gaming stream, next live stream, inside of the discord at patreon.com slash kyle hill next science video which is going to be a rock, about rock climbing because of course it is yeah devum arkham knight is on the list i've been playing through it off stream the last couple nights to see how long it is 